Hello and welcome back to Maypole Farm. It is now mid-October. We have finished our seeding. Um, all, of our, all of our wheat <laughs> that we don't need. All of our wheat has been sown. And our little bit of barley that we need a lot of is sown. And they should be taken well. And we are starting to get a hell of a stockpile of eggs. Uh, I'm probably going to try and keep this going until New Year. And we'll sell this in... I don't know, February, March, probably. And uh, we'll use the egg money to uh, purchase ourselves a new field. Hopefully, this got a lot of barley in it. Our honey is doing well. I have uh, been had a little, not been and had a look. I've had a look in the production here. And um, as you can see, we are still fully stocked on the, on the honey. Strawberries, you know, <laughs> loads... And, um, yeah, our barley is slowly dwindling down. Water's fine. I haven't been and topped the, the water, the honey, or the barley up since we started. So that's all it's used so far. Um, strawberry storage is already back up to 200,000 litres. So uh, we'll, we'll probably have another 100,000 of that to sell pretty soon. So everything's going well, apart from me planting the crops. <laughs> <laughs> the downfall of the success of Maple Farm, at the, uh, yeah, of Maple Farm at the minute is uh, is me planting the wrong crops. But let's just go and take a little look at our crops because they should, I think, should have come through over here on these ones anyway, as these were planted back in September. So we should already have a growth stage on the wheat fields, and uh, we should be able to see, hopefully, our tram lines coming through. There they are. That's not too bad. That's pretty straight. I haven't got flight mode set up. If not, we'd uh, just sort of zoom up into the sky and have a look. Yeah, I think that's... Uh, it's not bad. And I uh, just want to have a little look at the, uh, the small field and see what that's looking like. Because that one is done a little bit weird. Um, prior to me doing much practicing or yeah I'd say practicing uh, figuring things out this it's been good people have commented the uh, at the point of me recording this the uh, the episode of me uh, doing the episodes of me doing planning have uh, or seeden have gone out and uh, you know it's been a bit of feedback I know I weren't perfect with it but I'd, I'd not really used it much only a little bit on Trailer on, which probably comes out around about the same time. So there's like probably four back-to-back -back videos of me doing some terrible proceeding on episodes entitled "Proceeding as if I'm a pro," but no. Yeah, we've got it coming through. It's looking good. The weeds are here, so all we need, <laughs> all we need, is to fertilize it and um, spray it. We probably should fertilize it while it's short like this and um, spray it when it's longer I think I've said in my Oop Bay um, videos that that has been an issue for me before the uh, the spray and this I don't know why we're getting this flickering going on we've not had that before there is an update um, for Maypole and Cavalier Roy was super kind and he sent me a a preview or a, an early copy of the updated map um, saying you know, I, I don't really need to be using it for what I'm doing if I don't want to. He, he listed all the changes of what there was. I think I've covered this before. Um, but for me to do a little a little preview of what the changes are, um, I've just been so busy um, away from doing stuff from the channel, family things, uh, you know, spending time with the missus and the boy. It's summer, we've been out, we've been meeting family and stuff. So uh, I just haven't had that time, unfortunately, to do it. It's not a knock to Cavalier Roy. Um, it's not that I'm not interested in doing it. I would love to have done that and had that out ready for when the Maypole update came through. Like I said, I just have not had the time. I've been so busy and I wanted to make sure I was at least getting um, the two Maypoles, the two Ubes, the, the Stone Valley roleplay going out. Unfortunately... ETS um, has updated and Pro Mods don't seem to be doing an update at the minute to match it. So I haven't been able to do the ETS for my career. 
so I might switch over and do some American truck again for a bit um, because I haven't had that out but I didn't want the, the channel to uh, to be hurt by me doing other things um, I did say last episode I believe that uh, I am going to be taking a break I will be putting a post up on the community feed sort of for the exact date of that and what have you uh, just to take uh, five days a week off from uploads or from releasing uploads I'll probably put a few videos up on the on the upload and do but yeah, it's just, just for me to spend a bit more time, not feel the pressure of this. We're, we're getting close to that Magic 1000, so uh, we don't want to be stepping away and hurting the channel. But I do have things I need to do as well. I want to completely shut everything down in what I call my studio and have a change around in here. So, yeah, there's, there's things I want to do. And uh, the best way to do that is to not put the pressure on of uploads. I don't know why I'm jumped in here. What am I going to do? We're going to do grass cutting, and we're going to do fertilising. I'll do fertilising, and I'll tell you what, I'll... I can put a weight... Yeah, I can take the weight off. This is what I've been using for cutting before, anyway. So, uh, yeah, I'll take this weight off. We'll get a worker set up to do some cutting, and uh, I'll go off and do the fertilising, because then we can have a little look at our tram lines in action. I don't think I've fertilised. It didn't say there was any fertilisation there. So yeah, uh, sorry about the uh, early video ramble, but I wanted to get that out, just let you know what's been going on and what is happening. Let's get on with today's episode. Well, the uh, worker is set up doing the mowing on one of the meadows. Uh, the first meadow, I am going to TED afterwards, and uh, we'll put that in um, for the feeder so we can have some some hay in there just top that up i think one field will be plenty and the rest of the grass is all going to go in the clamp turned into silage and then we'll, we'll use that we'll fill our robot feeder with silage in the new year and anything that any and everything that's left over is going to be sold we're going to try and make as much money as we can at the start of the next year or in spring next year um, just because I want to buy a lot more cows and I want to try and get the beef cows up and you know we're going to play around trying to get some more productions on on the go maybe but I want to concentrate on the cows and doing what we can with them and as you can see I'm back in the Massey it's a good job I didn't sell it um, I think maybe the uh, the, uh, the John Deere can put narrows on um, I didn't even look at the Lambo because the Lambo is such a big tractor they look silly when they've got uh, narrows on uh, but the Deutz uh, would put flotation tyres on but I'm not sure I haven't tried yet to see if actual flotation tyres work and don't damage the crops so the Massey uh, we've had narrows on before so I don't think I've had to pay anything to put the narrows back on and we'll be doing our fertiliser spreading the Massey finding jobs for everyone and everything see I, I think I in my mind I'd forgotten about the fertilizing because I, I was coming into this episode thinking right this is just going to be a massive cutting Ted in and uh, I was gonna do like all stages of the grass work try and do it in one video no matter how many days it took and that might come following after this, that might come following in the next video, it depends on how I feel. Like I said, we do a lot of the grass work, so I try not to drag it out too much. But yeah, it's, uh, it's good, we've got some fertilising to do. We can we can fertilise um, the two fields that have started to grow fruit. We'll leave the barley, I'll do the barley later in the year. Um, so if we're going to do a lot of grass work, we can uh, chop that in to break it up a little bit. If there is another video of the grass work I say we do 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 a lot so sometimes you know, I'm, I'm happy to skip it there's no uh, tomfoolery or skullduggery with it it's you know it's what we've got and it's what we do so I'm not quite sure <laughs> would be the point in pretending we've got more grass we hand you know how much grass we get every year so we've done it for a few times now some years three times 
Um, I think I've got silage additive as well, so I shouldn't have to uh, worry about that. Is that open? I think it's open. No, I've moved that button. It's over here. There we go. It's open. I see in the mirror. Thinking about having a little switch around for my controls again. I know it's terrible. Um, just to move my indicators. I use my indicators on the on the D-pad left and right. But I never use because I've put all my controls on the side panel. I don't actually use uh, what would be like the indicators. The uh, the flappy paddles on the wheel. I never use. So I might as well stick the indicators on them and whatever controls. I regularly use elsewhere on the D-pad is all the thoughts that go on I find I'm finding now that I'm doing the uh, the role play in which I can't talk about anything real <laughs> and sometimes they <laughs> take me over two hours to record that two or three hours sometimes more to record that because of <laughs> how <laughs> how handicapped I, uh, I make myself with uh, how I record. Um, well, that's nice. Shame I, I was chatting away. I thought I could have got a decent screenshot of that. Maybe next time. Um, yeah. So, uh, I think coming back into <laughs> Maypole and Oopay, I might be a little bit more chatty because I've got to get it out of my system. Anyway, I want to be at a cab. So if I can, uh, doesn't matter if I drive over them, I and I guess it wouldn't be the worst thing if we didn't have the uh, tyres, the, the narrow wheels, because we've already got the line in the crop, but the, uh, the regular wheels would have um, destroyed the crop as well. So where we've sort of overlapped a little bit, we're going to get a bit of bonus. I'll tell you what, that is looking much better. Yeah, I don't think we need necessarily needed the loop. I could have probably just stuck in two Parsons, but I think just to really get round the field, the uh, the loop is handy. The uh, the looped headland. Yeah, I think that's, that's worked out pretty well for us. Indeed. I may have to, uh, to stop and get a screenshot. We'll do something, because I want to show that off. Anyway, I haven't said it for a while. I think I've skipped it for a few videos as well in my recordings. I hope you're all well, uh, doing well, enjoying your summer. I got burnt to an absolute <laughs> crisp um, probably about five days ago. And that in itself has limited my recording time because I, I wasn't able to move my legs. It was only my legs that got burnt. We lived by the beach and I went and spent the day down there. Um, some family came down. And we spent a nice day down there with kids and stuff, and no one else got burnt but me. And the only part of my body that got burnt was my fucking legs. And uh, I couldn't walk, I couldn't bend. I I slept on the sofa for like four days because I couldn't bear the duvet being on them. And I just sort of flopped onto the <laughs> onto the sofa with my legs hanging off. It's, it's been horrific. They're, they are still burnt, they're still really hot say about four or five days later let's try and be around so yeah hopefully everyone else has been safe and uh, yeah I'm, I'm not an irresponsible um, <laughs> sun I don't usually go spend much time out in the sun because I'm fair-haired even at like <laughs> nearly 40 years old um, I, I burn to a crisp within minutes and I've been lathering on the factor 50 um, my boy's fair-haired like me, so every time I put cream on him, I'm putting cream on me. He didn't burn. I just frazzled, absolutely frazzled. Um, because of the skin I have as well, I only, and in inverted commas, I only, uh, only burn on the bit that is directly facing the sun. 
Um, so my partner's had a good good laugh and a giggle because as well as putting the moisturiser on like four times a day, um, at least once a day, I also cover the rest of my legs in a bronze and moisturiser because if not, when it does go brown, I'm just going to have some stripped brown shins and the rest of my legs are lily white. <laughs> so I'm doing that at the same time. It's, uh, it's all fun and games around here. Right, let's get on to the next field. They are cracking on through that. The, uh, the course play, the workers, is uh, coming on leaps and bounds, I think. It doesn't take me long to set them up anymore. I haven't... I've um, had some tips. I think I said before I had some tips from uh, another YouTuber. And... Uh, Yes, hopefully I can get the worker to do some seeding next time around as well. Right, let's crack on with this one. I'll shut up for a bit so you don't have to watch me do the whole thing. And then I can grab a screenshot as well. But that distance, I think it's pretty good. Should we put the map up quickly? See how we're... Oh, look at that. Tell you what, that's... That's looking pretty perfect. Let's do the... It's a good big map. Let's just check what we did. The other one's looking nicely done as well. Look at that in uh, 68. Impressed with myself, I say. Right, I'm going to keep it off. And uh, once we finish, we'll uh, we'll have a little look and see how it's looking. Yeah, I like that. That's uh, that's good. That's fun. Oh, yeah, I've. I've Proper grinning that I've done something right on here. Absolutely brilliant. Right, yep. Shut up time. Just getting ourselves a refill of the fur. It's gone well. And uh I'd just like to mention that overnight, considering we only just sold our milk, overnight we produced another four thousand litres. Which is uh pretty awesome. So, four, yeah, say, f excuse me, four days, we're all, four, yeah, four days will uh, give us a tanker of milk each time, and obviously as the cows grow, we will uh, get more. Shall we right? Yeah, this is the right one. Now here, this is obviously the bit that I seeded off screen. Uh, because of the distance, um, the tram lines do go a little bit closer over there, uh, just so I could make sure I could get them in without having one run pretty much directly along the field edge. So I got to about here, and I was like, oh, in my eyes, I could, or in my eyes, in my mind, I could see sort of where the spacings were going to drop and we were going to put a uh, tram line down right next to the edge of the field so from this point I went down and then as the counter reset I put it on the outside field and then worked my way back in um, to the second tram line on my left and then we came back over here and I worked my way in and then just filled in the space so I figured that made more sense to me so that's what I did there that's why those two are really close and the one from the edge is sort of more of a distance in in line with everything else if that makes sense to you hopefully it does now we left this tree here but this tree might be one of the ones that um, it's a chop I quite like it being there because it does add something to that bottom end of the field I do like the trees um, to not have the trees does make a map look boring I think but we've got plenty off in that direction would it hurt to not have that one probably actually I think that was probably more important than having lots elsewhere that does break that view up we'll keep it we'll keep it for now but during the winter months we're definitely um, taking some branches off the trees along the lane into the farm and I might trim back some of the trees um, over as we enter the smaller um, arable field just because that always hinders the view coming in it's nice it overhanging um, if you're doing in cab 
but because, you know, people like the outer cab, and I, I did promise I'd do more outer cab on this series, which I think I've done. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's nicer not to lose your tractor in the trees, if only for a few seconds. You'll be, uh, be surprised what can happen in a few seconds if you can't see your tractor. I mean, we did an amazing job of getting our harvester with its header through them trees, not being able to see, and I just sort of swung it in. Uh, I probably won't be able to do that next year. <laughs> That's, that was, uh, I'd say, 90% luck, 10% skill. A bit like parenting. <laughs> and, uh, my daughter once brought me a Homer Simpson thing that had uh, something like that written on it. <laughs> Is that fatherhood? So, fifty percent luck, ten percent skill, and oh, I can't remember what the rest was. I'll shut up. <laughs> but yeah, luck, skill, and love—I think is what it was. That's nearly today's today's fertilizing done. Once we're going down here, we'll bring the map up and have a little look at the coverage. I think the coverage is going to be pretty good. I'm hoping our worker is going to be uh, close to finishing the cutting of the grass because, like I said, I want to get in there and ted that. If not, I might find another little job to do while he finishes and get started on the next field. So, coverage, absolutely brilliant. Let's keep that on small. Look at that. Good stuff. I also came in from the edge to make sure that I didn't have a tram line running off into that angle there, so I wanted it to come in just off the edge of that straight, and I knew that the uh, the width was good enough to go that far in. Sometimes I know what I'm doing. As a friend of the channel, Indie Journey, often says she's impressed with how I can get my numbers right, but <laughs> sometimes they're not. Uh, I said to maths and numbers is uh, normally pretty good. Once I know how much we're going to get and how much we've got, you know, it's, it's just simple math, isn't it? Um, but estimating and guesstimating and things like that, not so good at. So, uh, yeah, I'm impressed with uh, how that field came out. I am. I am pleased with myself. I'm going to toot my horn for the rest of today's video. I mean, we could go and fertilise the other one, but I want to do it when, uh, when it's grown through. And that's not going to be for a couple of days still, so I am going to empty this out. Just have to, uh, to wait on the worker to uh, finish their job, and then we can get on with our next one. So I'll just... Uh, set up my uh, my tractor and things like that oh just fling it out why not so yeah I'll uh, switch over Massey to probably Deutz actually we could keep the Massey it hasn't had much work I'll probably stick with the Massey and just put the tether on the back okay our fertiliser has been put away cool this needs to clean that's it I'll show you that give our worker a bit more time uh, when I was going around and doing the uh, extra gates and fences and things that I put in, like getting access through to that field and then between the two uh, grass meadows, when I was having that little fiddle around, I also put in a slight washing station, um, put in a drain runoff, and we've got a manhole cover down here. Just a little bit of my own thing. So we could do a bit of cleaning, which uh, we'll do once the... Uh, so all the work is done, we'll uh, come around, we'll clean everything. Have a, probably not a whole episode, but we'll uh, be able to finish off a few episodes doing some cleaning. Right, let's get back in the Massey, and uh, we'll be able to do our headland at least. We'll be able to head the headland while the, uh, the worker finishes off in the middle. Once they've finished, I shall move them off onto another field. Uh, we can get the rest of us inside, hopefully. Yeah, they shouldn't be too long. Do need to unfold it first. It would definitely break if I turned it on there like that. 
I say this is the only one we're going to TED. The rest of them will be fine. Running that silage pit. Yeah, they're doing that nicely. And they haven't got stuck, which is good. They have had a habit of getting stuck before, so... All's, all's well, that ends okay. Still impressed with the uh, density and the uh, the fluidity of the grass, as it, or the hay as it is, put with the tether. Yeah, the drying grass. Love how that looks. I mean, it was all right in 19, but it just looked like it was just like a more like a wet look coming out. It's more fluid-like, I guess. Whereas now, it because of the particles they do now, it just looks nicer. I've said it before, that is one of the things that giants have got right. Not always uh, overly praising of them at the minute, but that is something that does work. They'll get there. <laughs> Try not to bash them too much. I can't make a video game. But that's why I don't. That's what I always tell people, you know. Same as I try not to uh, bash on mods and modders. <laughs> there is one, anyone that follows me a little bit on the social medias, on the Facebook will know, there is one that does to go a little bit. <laughs> it's so, it's so worry just because they don't like a little bit of criticism, but apparently they do it with everyone, so I don't take that overly personal. Um, uh, I'm always polite and thankful to the modern community. Mm -hmm. Can't we all just get along? I do like I do like that uh, that argument that you'll always see. You do, if you do disagree with someone or have a have an issue with a, a mod, and you sort of publicly put it, especially on like on a Facebook group or something like that, a modders Facebook group, you know, you're letting them know that there's an issue you found with the mod. And uh, I love it if the first response is always, "Well, how's your mod doing? What's your mod doing? How many mods are you made?" None, but I'm not a modder, and this person is a modder, and there's something wrong with it. I'm letting them know. Like, why is why is that the instant go-to? If you don't want feedback, don't do it. It's like me doing this, and then you know, someone saying some, <laughs> you know, they don't like this about my videos, they don't like that about my videos, or I should do this, I should do that, or and then always being all defensive and. Being like, well, how, how big's your YouTube channel? How many YouTube videos have you done? Um, you know, they, they, <laughs> odds are they probably haven't, because they, they don't want to. Uh, but they can have an opinion, and you should always be looking for opinions and advice and, oh, dear, feedback. Feedback's good. But anyway. It was uh, in the comments with um, Mr. T Ball the other day, and uh, it's, he started watching my um, Stone Valley series, and uh, yeah, he was polite about it, saying that you know he enjoyed it, it's good, and uh, I was saying yeah, but it's for me the hardest thing is not to talk because I love having a little rant in my videos. This is my uh, this is my therapy. This is when I chat about a Tashiite. So, like I said before, when I do Stone Valley and it takes me hours and I don't get to have my usual vent like I get with here and Utbaylor on, I find that really challenging. Yeah, struggling um, on the tyres now with the weight and the movement. As I'm running my... Uh, Real 22 tyres and whatnot mod. Or mods, there are three of them. So yeah, that's why you see me slide about when we haven't slid about before when doing this. But now we are. That's because I've got the narrows on. I've only got this field to do, so I'm not going to change them off because then yeah, I change them over when I go and fertilise and 
before the wind, Rowan. I'll probably uh, use the doits anyway. I don't think the Deutz has a front PTO, so I guess we could do it with a Lambo. You could do, uh, you don't, you know, you could do like a cut to bail where you put your cutter on the front and then bail it instantly from the back. It would take a long time, but I could Lambo, hunt mower, and load a wagon on the back. We cut to load for grass, I guess. Not too keen on that. I like to have it cut, rode, picked up, and then um, went to clamp. That's more my way of doing it. And like I say, each to their own. Everyone has their own way. Anyway, again, I've been chatting for plenty for a bit of tedding, so uh, I'm going to shut up for a bit. I'm going to get on with this, let my worker finish their cutting. Once they're done, they'll move over, and you'll probably come back once I've finished my tedding. We'll see you in a bit. So we're now in the, the Dirty Deutz and uh, our worker has moved on over. They are cutting the other large meadow. Let's take, that did take a little bit longer than I was expecting, as these jobs always do, like I was saying earlier on. Oh, crap at guesstimating these sort of things. It's nearly half past four. It is mid-October, so it is probably going to start to uh, lose the light. So we're going to have to get some of our lights on, I think. I'll do, won't it? <laughs> I'm sure we can find an another light somewhere. There we are. Makes it look like it's darker than it is already, but... It's going to save me uh, hunting around for it in a bit. But I'm going to try and crack on. I'll, I'll get this field all rolled up. I'll probably just do loops, since this is just going to go in the loader wagon. And I can just keep driving around and around in the wagon. It's not a problem. Um, maybe if we fill the uh, robot feeder up, and uh, there's a, a good bit here, we'll, uh, we'll bail it and keep it. Say so the the cows are growing, we are getting more of them, so we're going to need more feed. I know we don't use a lot from our bale stock, but that once we've got more dairy cows, once we start getting the beef as in, we're going to need it. We'll soon start getting through it. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'm going to crack on with this. And, uh, yeah, see how long this takes. Hopefully, it won't get too dark. It's now quarter to seven. <laughs> it's pitch black. I've just got this last little uh, look that I'm going to try and turn into a strip of some sort. That'll do. I'll probably cut that out as, <laughs> as it gets dark and it's hard at sea. I don't do night videos very often for that reason. Uh, our work is still going, I believe. We'll uh, tell you what, I don't do it very often. Let's just tab over and see what they're doing. Ever. Oh, they're getting through it. They have no issues with working in the dark. They're pretty good like that. I think that is the first time we've tabbed across in a Mr. Farquhar video. I think it's oh, on purpose. Anyway, we've had accidental tab. That's the first time I've deliberately tabbed on video in, uh, what, 16 months? <laughs> 600 <and> 670 videos? <laughs> right. We've been busy in 16 months. 670 videos. You can find some channels that have been gone for a year. Uh, been gone for two or three years. And even after that. Man's been putting in work. Right. 
I'm gonna probably keep the uh, oh, keep the windrower on the back of the Deutz tomorrow. We shall uh, use the Lambo with the loader because that's gonna carry the bigger weight. So that'll uh, be able to get more done. And uh, yeah, we'll set the worker up to do the two smaller fields. Obviously, we're not going to do the one with the cows in. I did say I wouldn't do that, uh, at least for a while, probably ever again. We'll see. I did like doing it, but it's a lot of work moving them all about all the time. So I am going to stop the worker, but that is it for today. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notification on, find out when new videos go live. As always, comments and feedback down there. Remember, I'm going to be taking uh, a week away from releasing uploads, give myself some time, take some pressure off, have some fun. Uh, at the point of recording this, we've not hit our magic 1K, so if we hit our magic 1K in between then, I will put up a thank you post, all that good stuff, and we'll uh, chat about it and celebrate it when I come back. So, have a wonderful time, and uh, I'll see you in about a week. Bye-bye.